Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Jordan. I, I'm the stage manager here at Cats in Manila. Um, so what we'll do is we'll talk a, a little bit about what's happening on stage and then we'll go for a little walk around backstage. Uh, if anyone's got any questions about anything, uh, please go ahead and I will try my best to, to answer um, as uh, concisely as possible. Um, so here we are on the stage of Cats. And as you can see, it's on a rake, which means it's not flat, it is pointing down mm -hmm. towards the auditorium. And that, um, that's for two reasons. First of all, that helps with the perspective. That helps make the cats, which are obviously big humans, look like small and more feline. But also, it helps everyone in the auditorium have a fantastic view <laughs> of the stage and get, make sure that there are no bad seats in the house. It does mean that our dancers have to be in tip-top condition. We have to really look after them and they re have to really look after themselves because it is extremely difficult to dance on and makes what they do extremely hard even though they make it look so, so easy. <laughs> uh, lovely. And shall we head into the stage right wing and we'll do a little lap? All Thank right. you. So every cast member has their own dressing room space where they have the mirror and the light bulbs and they can spend all their time getting trained and putting their makeup on for the start of the show. But there are times in the show where people have to do quick costume changes or quick makeup changes. So every cat has a chair and, and here we have, for example, we have a tap number where every cast member has to get changed into tap shoes really quickly. We have eight members of wardrobe that are helping them get changed as quick as possible. That's a whole performing company of 22. <laughs> so there's a lot going on when it comes to those kind of things backstage. Eight if, dressers? Uh, so there's four, Eight dressers per, per one cast? No. So we have four uh, members of wardrobe that go with us from city to city. Four. And then in each city, so for example, in here, in Manila, we have four... Manila, Manila we wardrobe. Have, we have four, yes. yeah, four Manila okay. wardrobe who help, and between the eight of them, they get everyone changed. All right, um, it's a big task, um, but they do it very well. And if that's our costume uh, wardrobe quick change, this is our makeup and wig quick change. Oh, nice. So as you can imagine, it gets very sweaty on stage, and um, people have to touch up their makeup quite a lot. So we have all the colours and all the powders here, um, wig, wig readjustments that all happens here. And even when we have some character changes, people have to redo uh, very, very quickly. Lovely. And... Talking about sweaty on stage, this is our old Deuteronomy coat. Um, it is four, it weighs 14 kilograms. Oh, wow. So wow. just imagine uh, being on stage, full costume, dancing with this kind of weight under those kind of lights. It, yeah. Very, very difficult. Uh, does anyone want to feel, do you want to just feel the weight of that? How often does it get washed? It gets washed, so it gets, um, uh, it gets antibacterial every day. Every day. Okay. Um, because the more, the more sweat it gets, the heavier it will get. <laughs> so by the end of the last show, they're going to smell like cats. <laughs> like real cats. No, no, but they, I, I can't say that. The, the wardrobe team do a fantastic job of keeping everything clean. Do you dry clean them every day, every performance? No, some things... How do you wash or so we tour keep it fresh? Five washing machines, five uh, tumble dryers, and we have um, what's called hot boxes, which are like ovens, to keep everything dry really quickly. Um, and we... Including the wigs. Yeah, exactly. And then we have people in from 9 o'clock every day, even if it's just an evening performance, washing everything yeah. and making sure it's ready. It's, a, like I say, a big, big team getting that done. Um, every cat, let's grab this one. Every cat wears one of these, uh, which is a Lycra bodysuit. And they are all individually uh, hand-painted in London and handmade. Oh. Um, and they are fantastic. We have a lot of them per character. Um, because people obviously get very sweaty and we have people that know different characters and they all have their individual ones um, So all these boxes are full of these because we and we need them all Lovely. So One thing I love about this show is um, these cockroach heads <laughs> So everything that's part of the set is supposed to be found in the junkyard or 
used by the cats is ingenuity to be built together. So I love that this is a tea strainer and it's a black plastic bag and some bottle brushes have been made into a costume. Yeah. And I think that really sells the, it is the whole show right here, the ingenuity and the scale and um, just the character of the cats. Lovely. And should we head this way? So uh, every cat that's on stage has a sneaky little microphone just yeah. hidden under their wig here. And then they are radioed to our sound control here and then mixed at the back. This black box that you can just see over there that houses our 10-piece orchestra, which includes the conductor who's waving the stick. Um, he has a camera on his face and we have screens in the auditorium so that they can see each other and make sure that everything's in time and as perfect as it can be every single show. But it, um, people always ask, where's the band? They do play live every show and it is organic every show. Only for Manila in this type of a setup? No, every single show, every single venue we do it like this. Because oh. um, Cats has you so much... Yeah, stage. we have so much yes. audience interaction and Cats is all about being able to flow into the auditorium. So the way we set up doesn't allow for us to have the band there. Um, and that audience and that kind of involvement that yeah. is so important to the show that we do this. But we always find it really important that people know that it is a very it's a live orchestra and it's totally played uh, played completely every night. Lovely.